Rabbits have toys. They have, well, Lucky and the two meat rabbits have little blue balls to play and bounce around and just push around and have fun with. Now, these two new English these two new English Angoras don't have any toys though, so I stopped by Dollar Tree yesterday and got them some toys. Hooray! So let's see which one Solace wants is his. Solace! Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Alright, the next one he touches will be his. This one. You want that one? Okay. These are just cat toys and they're fun. You can see if Lovey wants one. Lovey, come and see. Come and see. Do you want it? Do you want it? She likes it. Hooray. Today I thought I'd groom the rabbits. So, or at least Lucky and Salt. So, I got my smock on. My grooming smock, and I have nail clippers, a brush, I think you call it a slipper brush, and then scissors, and that's pretty much all I'm going to use today. So now Lucky is done. Let's put him away and get Solace out. I don't need to groom Solace because of his fur condition. It's just so short that, you know, he's not gonna get tangled with Lizzie, but I'm just trying to get into the habit of it. So he's in the habit of being groomed. I'm in the habit of grooming him because often like, it would be like, oh, I just clipped him and it's fine. And then like two months later, like, oh, his fur is getting sore along, I better do it. And then there's like some tangles you gotta deal with. So just making sure that doesn't happen. those people wondering how Lovey is doing because it didn't groom her. She is doing awesome. She is very pregnant. She looks like she is like bulging. Like have you ever seen like a really pregnant goat? She sort of reminds me of that. Like hugely pregnant. Most of the time you can't see if a rabbit's pregnant but you can totally tell with her. Um, she's just sitting still all day. Gets up to eat and drink and go to the bathroom but she just stays still all day. I can see why because she's probably in so much discomfort and She's probably very hot because of the babies and the weather. So she usually just sits, she doesn't really move them up a lot. And, but as soon as she has babies, I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna groom her and get her beautiful and nice too. I just don't want to hurt her. Like, you know, if she doesn't like, like you can't hold her belly firmly so like she could flip out of your arms very easily because she has babies and you know I don't want to damage the babies by like her flipping out of my hands and on the floor and like killing the babies and that would be just tragic so I'm just gonna wait until she gives birth to groom her. Guys, the nest box is empty. No babies. It's always a sad sight in an empty nest box.
Oh, and everyone else is doing great. Um, our plan for breeding Rosie and Basil is, well, Rosie turns six months old on October 15th. So I'm thinking maybe a day or two after that we'll breed them. And so my plan is to just bring Rosie, put her into Basil's cage, and just leave them together until she's going to give birth, like a few days before, and then we'll move them out. Just because, you know, he always wants to get to her, like there's so much space in you. I just, I'm going to try that. Because like, they are loving to through the bars, like they'll stick their heads through the bars and kiss each other, and it's just so sweet, so. Not that we together, but, oh, not to mention that Basil has been spraying. 